Trinidad and Tobago's cocoa industry is very much like West Indies cricket. The Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Clarence Rambarat, made the analogy at the opening ceremony of the Cocoa Research and Innovations Workshop at the University of the West Indies in St. Augustine. Ian Wayson has more. Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Clarence Rambarat, wants the Trinidad and Tobago cocoa industry to grow and return to its glory days. He likened the industry to West Indies cricket and said both have boasted about past success but are now languishing at the bottom. He added the same way cricketers get rich from the sport, while the sport suffers, the same is happening to the cocoa industry. Referring to those coming into the industry, he says he hopes they are doing so for the long haul. Or do we go for the long game? Do we aim for that market where we could really define the long history and tradition and quality of our cocoa? For me as a minister, I prefer the long game. I prefer to have an industry where not everybody who has cocoa as a hobby, one who has a dream of owning a chocolate factory gets into this business. I feel the nature of this business should be some big players whether they be international, regional or local. Netherlands ambassador to this country, Jules Biel, offered to assist this country's cocoa industry as the Netherlands is the second largest supplier of cocoa products worldwide. This government, uh, and for a good reason, wants diversification. And I think whether the price will go up of oil or not, it's a wise thing to do and make yourself less independent of the oil and gas. So we would like to help with policies. We have experiences in how we do things. Urban Salina, a farmer from Brasil Seco, was pleased with what he heard at the opening of the workshop. And when I listen today, it's one of the best minister I will say that I ever heard speak about agriculture in the right form or in the right, he put everything in the right place. So now the people who is in agriculture are supposed to do better. The Cocoa Research Center, an institution of the University of the West Indies, is spearheading the workshop in an effort to revitalize the cocoa industry. Ian Wayson, CNews.